So there you have Pukharer on the other side, Karl F. Pukharer. And then, of course, next to it is Omega Boutique. And by the way, we are roughly on time, almost 10, 10, 10 o'clock they open. So have to check, there is a tram coming from behind, so gotta be careful but through here so I'm going to take a, peek, a quick look and here I am at the Omega boutique almost at opening times just another glance at the time and the date beautiful watches very really beautiful watches. That is the new collection, by the way, that is out. And of course, the Aquaterra with all the beautiful colors that one has, and some more watches. So yes, this is the Bahnhofstrasse 48, 48. That is, we are at the Omega Boutique front of the Omega Boutique. Thank you. 
And the loom is absolutely stunning on this watch. The minute hand is showing us some lovely green color, just like the 60 writings on the bezel. And it has the same super luminoma as at the planet ocean. I think it's called ultra deep, the orange version. And there you go, we have an egg, we have an egg and we have a lollipop, lollipop, egg, lollipop, egg. But it's absolutely stunning. So this watch is actually made for diving in the night or simply just clubbing in the night and flashing your newest watch. Beautiful. What do you think? So I have been extremely fortunate to get this watch from the Omega Boutique from Zurich. This is a truly, truly amazing watch. The Milanese style bracelet perfectly fits. It's just a perfect match for me. The 14 clasp is absolutely stunning and does the job perfectly. I have one and one minor problem. Well, not really a problem because I'm sort of used to it by now. But if you look at that seconds dial, the only problem or glitch I have with it is that when I first experienced this watch in direct sunlight, it reminded me of the cheap seconds hands of the moon's watch. It bothered me so much that I even wrote the boutique and asked them what material the second hand is made of. And they were kind enough and sent me back a reply that it is made of aluminum and is painted white. But as time goes by, and I'm talking about days, days has gone by, I got used to it. So it's no longer, no longer sort of annoys me by the way let's look at the back side of the watch the clasp itself it's a beautifully made i think it's even more, more beautiful than the no time to die clasp let's look at this stunning case back and coming back to the second hand that annoyed me that it looked like the moon's watch second hand There is a pretty good reason why it had to be made of aluminum. So I'm talking about this second hand here. It had to be made with the material of aluminum, uh, painted in white, because of this beautiful effect that we have here that commemorates the 60th anniversary of the James Bond movies. It unavoidably drains away power from the power reserve. So the watch has a 55 hours power reserve as a standard caliber 8800. This is by the way the 8806. And they had to lose some weight. So rhodium plated hands was out of question. And they achieved that by using the aluminum painting it white because that second hand is actually doing the trick in the back so every time the second hand is moving you see that wonderful animation on the case back and because of the friction when you have mechanical watches of course you have friction due to the friction they had to lose some weight in order to steal 
guarantee the 55 hours power reserve for this watch. I mean, it's beautiful, right? And one thing I noticed is that here is also Omega written on the back of the bracelet. My first fear was that I no longer have the usual triangle at the 12 o'clock position on the bezel. And that fear vanished quickly because I simply got used to it. So now we have a 60. The 60 stands for a game to commemorate that James Bond anniversary. And I absolutely love, and I also love by the planet ocean, I absolutely loved and found it really, really desirable that the bezel has super luminova. I think it's the orange version of the new planet ocean. And I really like that the Seamaster got this as the planet ocean. Crown route. Another fear of me was the book shaped sapphire crystal. In a way, it still a little bit annoys me as you can see that second hand is going to grow like an egg. But again, as time has been passing by, I got used to it. I have a nice egg. So I'm kind of enjoying it. Just sometimes peeking it from the side so I see instead of a lollipop immediately a giant egg and one last thing that i was afraid of about this particular watch was the mori effect at the back because many youtubers claimed or, or, or mentioned that it's not that much visible and it's blurry or it's not uh, uh, done properly i'm here to dis disagree and to disprove it is working fine. I can see the whole animation. Do you? Do you see the whole animation? And as usual, thank you for watching and see you next time.